Dadler explains. A vision of the future on the roof of a South London council estate, row upon row of solar panels. This is where the people are making their stand against the big six energy companies. While it's not yet possible to power the flats here, down below the community centre is run entirely from solar energy. So the electricity in this building is no longer taking over, it's not going around. Uh, effectively, it's running backwards. The solar panels generate electricity for all communal areas. This kitchen is powered by the sun. What isn't used is sold. The money raised goes back to local investors and to fund community projects. Some of the residents who could never afford to take their children away, we could take them away for a day, or we could do the, um, bring back the, the, the trip where we take on annual about um, 15 to 16 young people away and give them life skills. A survey by the Department of Energy suggests the greatest motivation for people to get involved is a chance to save money. But the pioneers in South London want community energy to change lives too. There are hundreds of communities which are suffering from fuel poverty and unemployment. This gives people an opportunity. Renewables have a bum rap, but actually they are a huge capacity to generate energy, reduce bills, create jobs, internships. The government is spending £10 million on its community energy initiative. It claims a million homes could be powered using homemade electricity by 2020. We've seen 5,000 community energy projects of different shapes and sizes uh, in the last few years across the UK. It's uh, par partly about generating electricity uh, with solar panels and, and wind turbines, but it's also about generating heat with district heating systems, saving energy by insulating people's homes street by street. It will take time and won't be for everyone, but ministers estimate potential savings on our bills of between three and £400. Toby Sadler, Sky News.